Man, love those pedals with the studio reverb. But I wonder how they sound with the AC30. Let's replug. <laughs> Wait, what was the sound like in the studio reverb? Hmm, great. <laughs> Hello and welcome back everybody to the Duchy of Drive. Have you ever wondered how to switch one effect board between two amps, including the effects loop? In this video, I want to provide a simple solution which doesn't cost too much. So why use one board with two amps at all? Maybe you're in a studio situation and want to improve your workflow or you can use it in your live setup, or you just want to compare your pedals between two amps. And building two effects boards can get quite expensive quite fast. For the setup I want to show to you today, you need two, maybe three things. First of all, a mono Y cable with one plug and two jacks. Secondly, and this is optional, you might need an ABY switcher or just an AB switcher. And third of all, and that's the crucial thing in this setup, you will need a stereo AB pedal or switcher, but pedal is more convenient. All right, how to put together a one board 2M setup with these tools. Let's just build a small pedal board and follow the signal chain on the run. The first thing you might want to consider is a tuner pedal. In my case, it's gonna be the same power tuner. It's a power supply and a tuner simultaneously. It saves a lot of room on your pedal board. Great tool, highly recommended. And the second thing everybody wants in front of his amp, it's a drive pedal. Here we use the EVH 5150 overdrive. Magic! The cables just appeared! Great! So now we have a very simple setup to put in front of your amp. You want to plug your guitar into the tuner pedal, from there the signals goes into the overdrive and from the overdrive you normally go into the input of your amplifier. If you want to switch this signal to two amps, you want to use an ABY switch. Because with that, you can route the signal either to amp A or to amp B or to both amps if you really want to. If you just use the Y cable, you always route your signals to both amps and you would have to switch one or the other off or turn down the volume all the time. So not very convenient, but we'll, we'll come back to this cable later. Normally, if you want to make use of the effects loop of your amplifier, you just route a cable from the effect send of your amp to the input jack of the pedal you want to use. In our case, it's going to be the blue lay delay you already know, and plug it into the input of the blue lay. From the output of the blue lay, you can run it back into the FX return of your amplifier. If you want to switch the signal of the effects loop, between two amplifiers, you first have to merge the signal of the FX sense of both amplifiers to run into the one input of your pedal. And then afterwards you have to split the signal and run it back into both FX returns of your amplifiers. <laughs> to accomplish that, you might consider using two ABY switches, one in front of your effects loops pedals and one after them. But that's not very convenient because you always have to step onto two switches. The much, much better solution I came across is this little baby here. It's a Bright Onion Pedals AB Stereo Switcher. And this is so great. Let me talk you through how it works. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about what a stereo signal really is. In principle, it's 
two signals from separate outputs, you can route with separate recipients. Just think about the outputs of your CD player going to your cabinets, left and right. So, and that's where the nomenclature comes from in the end. So on this panel, it's also labeled left and right, but you could also call it one or two or pff, cucumber and potato. It doesn't matter at all. And the cool thing with this pedal is the signal flow doesn't play a role at all. So we can go from one input into two outputs, or we can merge a signal from two outputs into one input and all of that simultaneously. So what does that mean for our pedal board setup? Let's find out. <laughs> Some of you might already have guessed where this is going, but let me talk you through it anyways. First thing we wanna do is merge the signals from the effects loop sense of both of our amplifiers into one output on the switcher, which we then can route to the input of our delay pedal. So we choose a channel. Let's say we choose the left channel and put the effects loops out of amplifier A into the left channel output of our switcher. For amplifier B, we put it into the left channel of the B channel. Now, we can merge the signal into the left output of the switcher, which we then can route to our, come on, delay pedal. Easy as that. The signal from the amps is going into the effects pedal. Magic again, some power cables appeared. So what's left to do now is, um, Route the output of our delay pedal back to the FX loop returns of our amplifiers. If you look at our stereo AB switch, let's just say our left channel is our send channel and our right channel is our return channel. So now we go from the delay pedal into the right input of the stereo switcher. And from there, all we have to do is to route the signal from output A right to A. Come on. And the same thing for and B. With this setup, we now can route the effects loop signal of our amplifiers into our effect our delay on the pedal board. So for example, if we want to choose amp A, we just switch it and choose it. Then the send signal of the amp goes into the left output of the switcher, comes out of the left input of the switcher, runs into the input of the delay. From the delay, the processing signal goes into the right input of the switcher, and from there, it's routed to the right output of channel A, back into the return of the amplifier. And if you want to switch, you just push a button and everything is routed to the effects loop of amplifier B. Easy as that. To complete our setup, we now get back to the preamp pedals. And here, we now can make use of our mono Y cable, because this cable now splits the signal from our overdrive pedal to both amps. And the nice thing about that now is, if you switch the effects loop, the other amp, which is not active, is completely muted. No hum, no ground noise, Nothing at all. Silence. And it works great. Let me show you. And back again. Let's start with the AC30. Uh, just without effects, just clean amp into the top boost channel. It works. 
Switch on the delay. Works as well. Switch off. Let's switch over to the studio reverb. signal from the studio reverb, nothing from the AC30. Delay. Works as well. Great. Now what about the drive? Oh yeah. And with the AC30. Delay. Yeah. Switch back to the studio reverb. Well, I think that works out. Alrighty, people, that worked out quite nicely, I think. All we needed was this little switcher wonder. I ordered it at Bright Onion Pedals in Great Britain. It's about 60 pounds, which is around 67 euros at the time of this video. You can also order a version without the LEDs. That's only 40 pounds. If you're not happy with routing the input signal to your amps from your drive pedal via the Y cable, then maybe just use an ABY or AB switcher. I use this old Blood Noise Endeavors ABY switcher, which is great. I never had crosstalk problems with it. I really can recommend it. If you have any questions about the setup, post them in the comments down below. I will also link the products in the description. And if you liked what you saw, leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing and see you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.